And we're back with action here at King of Kings from Kishnia, Moldova, episode 53. And it's another Moldova versus Moldova matchup here as Mina Manoli is set to take on Vasily Gurulia. Two very tough competitors here. Just a couple of fights under their belt. But what an opportunity for both guys here. When you take a look at the tail of the tape, I, th I think there's not much between these two guys here. You've got Garulia, who's walking to the ring right now. He's three years older, but other than that, I think this one's right down the middle, at least on paper. Vasily Gurulia, Moldova. Ladies and gentlemen, Fighting for the blue corner, 20 years old, official height 177 centimeter, official weight 75 kilo, representing champion gym, Moldova, Mina Manoli. <laughs> Fighting for the red corner, 23 years old, official height 176 centimeter, official weight 75 kilo, fighter representing Thai star gym, Moldova, Vasily. Gurulia! Rick Referee Andre Gross, okay, okay, rules, three rounds, three minutes each. And my commands all the time. Good luck, good luck. Step back, step back. Judge, 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 first round. Fight! Round one. There's the bell, and we are underway. Mina Manoli. Ooh, hard Stop. rushing kicks right off the bat there from Fight. Manoli. Holding nothing back with those. Stop. No clinching. That's a great way to start a fight. fight. It sets the pace early, and it lets your opponent know that you didn't come here to play patty cake. Came here for one reason only. Wow. Manoli with a vicious knee, too. Fight. He is packing some dynamite in the lower half of his body here. Stop. Now Garulia Stop. finally gets into it. Listen, my comments, okay? Fight! I think Andre Grosso, the referee, could have his hands full here on this one. These guys are just slugging it out right now. Stop. And Manoli all over Fight. him here in the early going like a cheap suit. Nice combination shots there. I'll tell you what. Everything this kid throws just has power in it. Fight. That hurts me, and I'm about five, six, seven feet from the action. It makes me cringe in there. There's a big right hand, and down goes Two, Garulia. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? Fight. Well, he seems to be okay, or is he? Not only trying to put Stop. the final nail in the coffin here. There's Fight. still a long way to go here in this opening round, folks. And Oli is Stop. just an animal. Fight. Stop. Look at the Fight. kind of condition this kid is in, too, here. And Oli's just Stop. chiseled out of granite. Fight. Take a look at the, the back of the, uh, just under the shoulder blades on the right side of Vasily Garulia. <laughs> The proof that Manoli is not messing around in there with those kicks. Holy smoke, there's another one. Chasing him down now and just laying him in. Fight. And Garulia now. Looks like he's, I don't know if he's cut or if he's just got some reddening under his left eye, but whatever it is, it's not good. Stop. Stop. His face is okay. beat red right Fight. now. He's already got his hands on his hips. He has taken a beating here in this opening round, and there's still over 30 seconds left to go. Good, hard, right uppercut. But he narrowly misses Garulia. Fight. They brawl on the ropes now. Right hand through the guard. Stop. Fight. 
Final 10 seconds now. Ooh, there's a nice right hand. Caught him in the temple. Holy Manoli, Batman. I don't think that Vasily Garulia has ever been so happy to hear the sound of a bell in his life. Let's take a look at what happened here. This was a pretty lopsided round here. I think that it's definitely going to be 10-8 with that knockdown. I may go far, go as far as to say 10-7 just because of the how lopsided it was. But whatever the case, we can safely say that Mina Manoli was the winner of that round and Vasily Garulia, he's going to need something big here in round number two. He's going to need something very, very big to stay in the game. here in round number two. Let's see what the corner of Vasily Garulia was able to come up with to get him back in this fight. A lot of times you can have the perfect game plan, but after you take that kind of a whale of a beating, sometimes your body is not able to do what your mind is telling it. Referee did not call for a break. Looks like Garulia was kind of expecting one. Fight. Oh, Garula lands the left in a low kick now. Oh, Garula almost lost his mouth guard there. That's sometimes a sign of fatigue. So we take a look at the co-promoters of KOK and FEA. Donatus Simonitis and Doran Damier looking on at this action, I'm sure with a lot of interest. Ooh, right hand lands by Minoli. And I think he smells blood. That was a pretty solid knee too, jumping knee. And that's why you need to wear a mouth guard, folks. Nice exchange by both guys. Looks like Garulia's actually starting to get a little bit more comfortable in there. Left hand connects from Manoli. Manoli's also not as aggressive as he was now in the opening round. Still got a lot of steam behind those kicks, but obviously not as much as in the first round. So got to ask yourself, has Garulia kind of weathered the storm here? And can he make a comeback? Manoli's still dangerous, though. You can see some heat in that right hand. The output from Manoli. Not quite as high as it was in the first round either, so I'm taking a big deep breath there. Garulia is tough, man. Holy cow. He is really impressing me with just how tough he is. Probably a lot of guys wouldn't have lasted this long with Manoli. A lot of guys wouldn't have made it out of the first round. Oh, big left hand went in, and that'll really hurt, especially at this point in the fight when you're tired like that. Catch a low hook like that in the body. Take the wind right out of your sails. Stop. Die. Well, interesting round. I didn't expect that. I thought that Manoli would just go right after him and try to finish him off, but Garulia, perhaps. There are better days ahead in round number three. He did a good job of surviving that opening onslaught in the first round and then started to get a little bit more comfortable there in round number two. So what do we have going into round number three? Maybe you just wipe the slate clean and we're back to square one, who knows? Manoli's slowing down a little bit. Garulia 
getting back into it. As far as the scorecards are concerned, though, Garulia still needs something big to happen here in round number three, or else he's going to go home disappointed. Final round. Andre Grosu signals for the start of round number three. And here we go. Something terrible is going to happen uh, for Minoli for him to have to lose this thing. As long as he can just fight a smart fight, I think he's going to win this just based on the first round alone. Oh, cracking shot there. And a nice knee in the midsection as well. Let's see what these guys' game plans are here in round number three. Hard knees by Manoli. Looks like he's starting to step on the gas a little bit now. Stop! Stop! Do not hold with two hands, okay? Only one. Fight! Nice combo from Garuli. I haven't seen a whole lot of that from him. But like I said, his confidence seems to be increasing the longer this fight goes on. Stop! Fight. Stop. Fight. Oh, nice shot there. That could have been the, the best shots he's had all night. Fight. You can really hear Garulia grunting when he's throwing some of those shots. With whatever energy he's got left in the tank at this point. Stop. One-two combination finds the mark there for Manoli as Garulia buries a knee into the rather well-developed abdomen of Mina Manoli. And a good job of Garulia from tucking that arm inside the block the knee. Ooh, took that knee though on the arms again. That'll hurt. I've, I've seen people break their arms with knees and with kicks blocking like that, but it's better than taking one in the liver. Coming up on the 30 second mark here, left in the fight, third and final round here. Boy, what an interesting turn of events we've seen. Garulia really coming alive here in round number three. Manoli still fighting hard. Stop. No clinching, guys. No clinching. Fight. Referee has had his hands full here in this third round. Garulia got a solid knee in there. Closing seconds now, and that's it. So the judges tally the scores. I, I still think that Manoli maybe did enough to get his hand raised, but we will find out. Great job by Garulia, though. Tell you what, after that beating in the first round, for him to come back like this and finish the fight strong like that really says a lot about what this kid's made of. I think both guys did a great job in this fight. Let's get the official word. After three rounds by unanimous judge decision, the winner is Blue Corner, Mina Manoli, Moldova. There you go. Manoli did it. A fantastic first round from him. That was just like a highlight reel. He could make a whole 2017 highlight reel just based on that first round alone. The 20-year-old from the champion gym here in Kishino, Moldova gets his hand raised.